And we are back. kicking off top 48 here at Overclock 4. Oh. And this is not who I believe we were informed this was going to be. Uh, I believe we heard something of a... Uh, oh, no, this Rafi is who it was. Exile. This oh is exactly God. who it was. Oh, my gosh. Never mind. I've, been, I've been commentating mid-tiers and low-tiers for like the past like half an hour. I'm yeah. so glad to see some top <laughs> tiers back on the screen. Let's go. This, I understand this. This makes sense to me. But exactly. All right. We are running it off to town and city. I guess these guys just uh, struck to, uh, strike to hear, uh, gentlemen to hear, whatever. This is uh, relatively an interesting pick. I mean, because uh, Sheik definitely likes that space to needle camp whenever she has to. And then Cloud, of course, if he's the one in advantage, you know, he could just lean back, charge yeah. uh, charge that move, get those four final smashes up and ready to go. But uh, so far, it's looking like it's working out a little better for Exiled right here in this first winner's match of Top 48. Oh Getting all this clean damage on Ralphie already, already about 100% differential uh, between these two players. Looking pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the impression session. Oppression session, guys, with your host Sheik. Here we go. Cloud! Oh, I'm just going to get cross left off the side. That was actually a really interesting day that Ralphie did right there. Not going to auto-cancel, but here we go. Back back to that neutral. Yeah. The thing about the oppression session, oh, not going it to do it stops. just yet. But That's <laughs> the thing about the oppression session. It never stops. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, oh, and that was a good sneaky upper, actually positioning himself just to the left of Cloud's down air, which a lot of characters are a little too big or can't really do because they don't have just those sleek hitboxes, those really good ones that Sheik is able to get out, those good kill moves that she actually uh, has in her arsenal. Good stuff to Exile, able to sneak around that down honest, and get the kill. My, that's one of my favorite things about Sheik. Uh, that's the reason, like, I, I play her in friendlies, but, like, it just feels good to play Sheik because you can whiff punish so nice. Oh, for sure. Because she's so, like, slippery and whatnot, gets in, gets that fair, gets that back. And you're just like, yes. Mm. Yes, clean. Here we go. 101% on Exile. Gonna get up there. there. 90% on Ralphie. Full limit. Got him at ledge. The scariest thing in this game. <laughs> Absolutely. I was gonna say, the thing with the oppression session that is uh, our the great character, Sheik's neutral, is that if you're fighting a character like Cloud, you're in a sense, you're just like basically feeding one of the parking meters that we have outside of this wonderful venue Absolutely. that we have this event Absolutely. You're gonna in. get limit. Climb has exactly. it out of shield. Exactly, because eventually he's just gonna be able to get that. And as Sheik, you're one of the lighter, if not uh, the lightest top tier, I believe. No, Mewtwo, of course. One of them, yeah. Yeah, one of the lightest top tiers, of course. And against a character with uh, kill power, as raw and as meaty as Cloud, you're going to be dying to some pretty crazy percents, just like Ralphie might. Mm, almost getting the gimp, but a smart Cloud such as Ralphie is going to be saving his jump in situations like that. He knows his character, knows that he can't, uh, he's not very good at getting back without his limit, but he catches him with a vanish, not going to do it just yet, and he gets his limit on him just for kicks. This is by no means over right now. You I mean, you look at the percentage differential between these players, but Sheik kind of struggles at killing, and Cloud is pretty damn good at that. Yeah. And Ralphie just got to stay moving. He's got to stay moving, and he's got to stop putting out hitboxes. That can get with the pipe. diamond cutter! Ugh. I said it before a stream, diamonds are a girl's best friend. <laughs> Sheik with that diamond cutter, Exile going to take game one. Mm. And you could just hear the eruption from the venue, all of these wonderful New England players Absolutely. pulling through for their boy right now. I am from New Jersey. I expect nothing less. I mean, of course, you know, the commentator buys. Yo, you know, honestly, no, 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 that's okay. No, no, that's yo, okay. yo, 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 stream, chat, I'm letting y'all know, know right now there's nothing wrong with a little bit of bias. No. As long as you're commentating, you know, good, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of bias. It's but the spice that stirs the pot. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh. You see Ralphie's face tilted. I do see tilted. Ralphie's face. Speaking, <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, uh, speaking of tilted. <laughs> so I'm calling it right now, tilted. Oh, oh speaking of Tilted, we not only are running it off to Lila, we have the secondary Bayonetta oh, yes. coming out from Ralphie right now. He's saying, I'm not messing around. You're going to die. I want you to die off the top, off the side, whatever way, at any, pretty much any damn percent I want. The tr the, I'm trying to win this tournament. <laughs> starter pack. <laughs> Cloud and Lila. The, I'm trying to win this tournament starter pack for sure. But I don't know if it's going to work out for Ralphie. I mean, his Bayonetta is uh, it is quite good. I mean, he uh, he's practiced with it a lot. He practices with uh, Jen, of course, his yeah. crewmate, his teammate, who has a very good uh, secondary uh, Bayonetta himself as well, doing quite well at the uh, Rutgers, uh, Rutgers Monthly Tournament last month. Uh, but the um, is just still all over him. Look at this. It oh, is, at the end that? of the day, his secondary Bayonetta. So we're going to have to see what he's going to be able to do or if this might be uh, Exile saving grace here. This might be exactly what he wants. He's like, yeah, exactly. yeah forced him onto the secondary. You know what I mean? Oh, but these juggles. Looking like a clown. Look who's a clown right now, Ralphie. Yeah, but these guys aren't clowning around right now. This is top 48 of Overclock 4. A very, very prestigious uh, tournament we have over here in New England. These guys are definitely not clowning, my friend. And uh, you can tell, I mean, it's a fairly even game so far with both of these guys right now. No one's really... Uh, 
No, uh, no one's obviously died yet, uh, both holding on to their stocks. Not too big of a percentage differential between these players yet either. Bayonetta oh will, my course, god, did you see the read. weight? I saw the read. You see the weight on that roll read? Oh no, that was that was actually a really bad option. Now you're on ledge against Bayonetta. What are you doing? I mean, the thing with Bayonetta, of course, I mean, like, th that was a patient read right there. He knew what he was going to do. He's just like, I'm going to predict this tech roll. It's going to be safe. I'm going to grab whatever. That's reflective of the patience that is required to fight Bayonetta in general. Yeah. You never want to be doing pressing too many buttons against this character. Never want to overextend out of fear of getting witch timed or putting yourself off stage or on the ledge when you don't have to, when she could just turn around, witch twist, and kill you for it, and narrowly getting out of that situation with the classic Bayonetta frame traps right there, trying to mix that jab into a forward smash right there. Oh. Not going to do it. He's going to eat a forward throw for his pleasure. First stock going to Ralphie. You saw the head knock coming up from Ralphie. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bayonetta. Bayonetta. <laughs> the best character in the game. All right. But now in comes a little bit of a slobbernarker right here. Exile's trying to find his way in, and he does with a late neutral air to the bouncing fish. The classic. So... As a commentator or like a player or anything that just enjoys the game, I like little things. I like little things. Oh, so of course. If you notice that Exile, before he took that stock, he did a jab, jab, to, um, F tilt. What I want to see is him earn that F tilt after, like, you know, doing jab, jab, grab. Condition that into it. So that when Ralphie gets grabbed, he's like, all right, he's going to do jab, jab, I'm going to hit a button. Mm -hmm. And when you try to hit a button, you're going to get F tilt. And then we have stuff like that. So right there, he's hitting the button again. He did jab, jab to there. So like I said, I want, I want to see more grabs. That way he can earn these um, buttons that he's pressing. Oh my gosh, but F tilt in there coming through, yeah. putting a nice 87% on Ralphie. Ugh. Grabs will definitely be a safer way to fight Bayonetta and get that guaranteed damage. But you're talking about, uh, uh, you're talking about, uh, well, oh my oh, god. Did it again. I don't even know what you're talking about. You can't, uh, you're exiled, you can't do stuff like that and expect me to commentate your match, all right? It's Absolutely. Just, no, you can't do that. But you talk about conditioning, and you really, if you can't get to top 48 of a tournament like this if you're not proficient at conditioning and you in, and you uh, integrate it as part of your gameplay. And exiled, exiled, of course, as you brought up, yeah. is no stranger to that, of course. And he's still, you know... He's still going for these up smash. He's showing him that, yo, this option is still a thing, and you need to be scared. Mm-hmm. Got him off stage now, but that's Bayonetta. She's gonna be able to find her way back, baby, nice and easy. Here we go. This might be it. Are we playing? Are we playing Marvel? We playing Marvel? Mm, he jumps back in the air, forcing himself a little bit in the disadvantage, but Ralphie lets him down, suffering the special landing lag of all of Bayonetta's uh, special moves in the air. Oh, and he runs right into the diamond cutter! Wow! An exile is going up 2-0 over Ralphie right now, looking poised, poised. My man Rudy, you can't, even, you can't even see his face right now, but it's it's incredulous. It's incredulous. I'm looking at my man right Ooh. now. I feel like I've known Rudy for years on end at this point by looking at his face that I you cannot that. see on the camera. I felt that diamond cutter right oh. there. Oh, my gosh. Ralphie. Oh, is he going that, back? That one's going to hurt in the morning. Is he going back to the original? Is he going back to the original main? The original DLC? Dude. Oh, no, Fox? Dude. He up smashed Wait. him so hard that he sent Ralphie back no. in time to his original main. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yo! No, 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 no. I'm from New Jersey. Ralphie's the original main. He has a fox. I want you guys to scream at the top of your lungs everywhere you are. Don't go fox, Ralph. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't, do don't go fox. <laughs> don't go fox. <laughs> oh, have a over the cloud. Okay. Shulk! <laughs> Yo, do it, Ralphie. <laughs> yeah, I did. For, do it, Ralphie. For no, the no, Is he no, actually no, no, going to no. do it? No, don't do it. He's messing with the crowd right now. Oh, he, no, no. thank okay. God. No, 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 no. That was a thank classic God. example Woo. of a crowd pleaser right there. I don't believe like he, no. Some people will say like, oh, that was a thought process in his head. He was genuinely thinking about it. No, that was the mango. He just hovered over a character yeah. that he knows you're never going to pick. And he just, he just messes with the people. We are running it back to town and city. This is where he lost game one. This is true. But in this exact matchup. Question, question, though. What do you think Ralphie needs to be doing to actually sway this matchup into his favor? Because he's getting some stops. He's getting some hits in just like this. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put my finger on exactly what Ralphie needs to be doing differently so that he can get these, um, he can get these wins. He needs to not let Exiled rush in like that. If Ralphie didn't have limit right there and he got caught by that rush down forward air combo right there, yeah. he would have died. Would and we would have been screaming right now. <laughs> oh my god, Exile's gonna be Ralphie, everything. But he's really letting Exile just kind of get in on him. Yeah. And that is where Sheik shines in this matchup. When Sheik actually gets in on Cloud, when yeah. uh, she you uh, start when you start letting Sheik really hit your cloud with those forward airs and get you off stage, that yeah. is where Sheik absolutely shines in this matchup. That is where she can gimp the hell out of you. We all saw Law versus Ralphie at Smash Quest. Yeah. He was up the whole time in that set, and then he let uh he let um uh, he let Law in 
in once, yep. and that's how he wound up losing that set. So I think Ralphie needs to slow the match down to his own pace, stay back a little, charge limit, try and force Exile to approach, and then retreat back in a safe way to use Cloud's giant sword that yeah. is the size of Sheik, yes, and start swinging true. that at him, as opposed to letting Exile come in with that raw aggression forward air. Because like I said, if he didn't have limit off stage in that situation, this game as we Ooh, this game very well could have been over. Shoot at and the last there second. you go. That is what you need to do. You need to play Cloud. And Cloud is a character who has four final again. smashes, but it doesn't even matter if you're gonna be able to land diamond cutters like Yo, that Ralph. exiled saying it does not matter. Come on, Ralphie, get your head back in the game, boy. You got this. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. But you see, I think Ralphie heard me. See what he's doing? He's just chilling back. Yeah. He's charging at first. He's realizing, okay, my character has four final smashes oh, this. in the competitive environment. Yeah. Look, right I need back to, to use those against Sheik. I love, oh my gosh, I love this. Yep. You don't got, you guys don't understand, chat. There you I go. love lame play. <laughs> I love, I know people hate lame play. I love it. I love it so much. I just look at him. He's Bam! I love it. Up there, there you go. Up there again. This is what you do. You you wait back. You get that limit. Then you start fighting Sheik when all of your stats are buffed. You get those up airs. You know. You play Cloud. You play Cloud. What you need to do. But you just you can't let Sheik get in on you like that. Right now he can if he really has to because he has his limit as long as he doesn't burn it mid combo yeah. like if he gets like needles or something. Ooh. Ralphie has done that before, but hopefully he has learned his lesson since then. But we have the mix coming in, ladies and gentlemen. We already got a clean 55 percent on Ralphie right now. Exiled is uh, Exiled is down in this game, but he is not down in the set. He is up 2-0 <gasps> against this man right now. Poised to make what would probably be considered an upset, right? Honestly, I'd say so. Maybe, yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no air dodges coming out from Exile. That's exactly oh, what Ralphie was looking for. That's what he wanted. Such good coverage coming out from Ralphie. Shake it off for you. Let's go. Let's go, we back in there. Yeah, putting himself right back into it. He's saying, I need to take two more games. I need to get into that mentality where I can take two more games, you know? And that is what differentiates these players from he gonna be me. He gonna be a. He's gonna be a. He's gonna be a. I'm predicting a game five. I don't know. I wanna see a game five. I would Obviously. love to see a game five. Who doesn't love game fives? Come on now. People who are trying to win. That's why. That's who doesn't like game fives. <laughs> if I'm exiled, I'm like, man, I should have closed it out game three. Yeah. My son started playing so lame. Yeah, Exiled looking a little concerned right now. He's nodding, putting the glasses up. He did the glasses tilt. That's the anime. Oh, absolutely. That's the Nairo is what it was. That's the 2015 Nairo. I remember Ooh, that. Oh, did you see the punish of the needles? Ah. Needles hit shield. He down tilted. That was, I don't know. That was just, I thought that was just like a great punish. I love to see needles get punished. No bias there. Anyway. <laughs> no bias there. there <laughs> right. go. Ralphie putting himself right back on the board. One, two in the favor of Exiled right now. He needs one more to send this top eight seed into the loser's bracket. That wasn't a kill. That would have been a meaty, meaty forward he smash. He almost got sliced in half. Yeah. Dice and slice. Dice and slice, my guy. That's definitely the tomato dicer is Cloud's forward smash. Oh, back air. All right. Chief's See? back air is such a good, like, tool. Like, initial, the initial hitbox is great, but then the late hitbox is so good too. Mm -hmm. It's like there's rare. It's like there's a couple moves in the games that just have properties just like that. Oh, good ledge yeah. from not coming. I think the ledge from there, but he's going back on stage. Ralphie, right now, he's not doing anything he doesn't need to do. He's playing around Sheik's aggression, playing around her needles, forcing her into oh, a position yeah. Oh, yeah. that he knows that oh, Exile yeah. does not want to be in, ladies and gentlemen. Cloud was playing like, oh, around Sheik, the needles. Cloud was like, Sheik, you remember me? <laughs> from the oppression session. I got one for you too. It's called the ledge. She's trying to say, I've been doing this since before you were even in this game. <laughs> before boy, you were born, Before boy. you were even <laughs> born. But right now, it's looking very, very good for Ralphie right now. Only sending oh. it about 100%. Uh, 100%. Nah, just as I say that, that is the third diamond cutter I have seen this man eat. Third. Ah! He, I, he, he, I don't know what to say. He's getting hit by that almost every single time Exile is doing it. I was literally about to say, oh, Ralphie jumped away this no. time so he doesn't get hit by the diamond cutter. And and Exile was like, yo, boy, shut your mouth. <laughs> this is where it's really, really scary for Cloud, ladies and gentlemen. And this is where it's even scarier for Sheik when you start getting hit by those up airs, getting hit in the vortex all the while while he's building that limit, charging that final smash. You could die yes. at just pretty much any crazy percent if you're as light as Sheik. This is absolutely anybody's game, ladies and gentlemen. That is actually extremely true. This game is a slobber knocker. For sure. All right. He's able to land a forward air, converting into a back air. Okay. Ralphie knows he's off stage. I like it. 
does the oh, high no. climb oh, hazard. Oh, I was so scared. Down there, no, just down there, please. Just down there, him. Ralphie air dodge, but the aerial drift was so nice. You know he's going to diamond cutter. Just down there, him, please. Oh, my God. He almost fell from the mix up, too. But jumping out of the way is Ralphie. A little too smart for that at this stage in the game. Oh, and he's the dead. He's dead. He's dead. dead. He's dead. Ladies and gentlemen, Exile takes it 3-1 over Ralphie. Please. Wow. Let's oh take a look God. at this again. Rolling back, knowing he's going to roll away, and just calling him right out with the Bouncing Fish. New England popping off Absolutely. for their boy. That's what I love to see. I love to see that regional pride. Love to see people get up for their boy like that. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it's part of just why we play this wonderful game that 